In part C, we have omega t is equal to pi over 2. And at pi over 2, our B field is actually not changing. It's at the peak of the cosine waveform. So in this case, if there's no changing B field, then there's no V induced. So V induced is equal to 0, because dBdt is equal to 0. And so in part D, uh, the current will also be equal to 0. So let's go on to part E. At omega t is 3 pi over 4. In this case, we can use the same equation we had earlier. And now 4 pi times 10 to the fifth. And this time we have cosine 3 pi over 4. So that's a negative number. and. An we have a negative out in front, so we're going to get a positive 4 pi over square root of 2 times 10 to the fifth volts. So this is a positive number. And so uh, the direction of V induced is going to be in the direction of positive values. So that means this is the negative side. We travel around, that's the source, so this is the positive side. And then in part F, we want to calculate the current, which is V over R, which is 4 pi times 10 to the fifth over 5 square root of 2 amps. And since this is a positive number, then we are going to have the current flowing in the direction of DL in that direction.